I apologize for having been here Friday and again today, but I feel like I've got some comments that are relevant to the adoption of science text. Uh, the fact is that the science text should include an extensive uh, representation of Darwin's uh, theory of evolution. Uh, the thing that Darwin did not know at his at that time, 160 years ago, was the organization within the living cell. Uh, the uh, present state of the science is that that living cell is so complicated, so complex, that it could not have occurred purely by chance. And Although Darwin should be included, he should be included as a historic development in the development of science and not as contemporary science as we know it from laboratory experiments today. Presenting Darwin as fact would be nothing more than junk science. Darwin was a historical figure, much as Freud was a historical figure to the behavioral sciences. Freud was a historic development in that field, but I know of no competent uh, psychologist today that is in clinical practice that used Freudian psychoanalysis in their profession. And likewise, considering Darwin as fact would be tantamount to, uh, to uh, elevating it to a, a level that it does not measure up to in light of science as it's carried on today. So critical thinking went into the organization within the living cell. But <clears throat> that is what uh, I am advocating today is that we apply science in such a way that we encourage critical, critical thinking on the part of our students in the public schools. And I think the t science text should both include uh, Darwin as fact, but also a Darwin as science, as a historical figure in science, but not as fact. Thank you.